Portugal. We, the indigenous population, being exploited and we've been treated like second class citizens in our own country. For my living, I did a lot of illegal activities, poaching, trading. There was no sign of birds flying. We were threatening our, our resources. You know, this creates a really interesting challenge because it's somewhere, it's unique and there's nowhere else like it, you want to protect it. But at the same time, the locals who own it, they, they need to make money and the only asset they have is their land. It's a giant, flat-tailed, scaled fish. You know, but it can be 10 feet long. There are not many of them, so there's like one of the few places in the world that has them. It's big. We have two weeks to catch this fish on a fly rod to prove that it's possible. The appeal of catching the world's largest freshwater fish on a fly would make any fly angler prick their ears up at the opportunity. But right now there are a lot of chances. Instead of going out on the community, you can serve your community. This is not the easiest place in the world to get to. Where we are, right now, most people would say we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, this forest that we're in here, I mean, literally stretches for hundreds of miles. Fifteen foot black came in eyeballing us. He looks real hungry. Here comes. Unbelievable, isn't it? Anything that we can find that um, provides employment for people that would enable them to stay in their communities if they so wish is, is, a, is a very positive thing. I think it is time now for us to get up and manage our own business.